Um, of course, the big story today has been the fact that Secretary Clinton left rather unceremoniously, having become overheated. We should say the weather has been horrific, very hot, extremely humid temperatures. MSNBC claims that the weather in New York City on September 11th, 2016, was horrific, very hot, and extremely humid. As you can see at timeanddate.com for the morning of September 11th, the high was 79 degrees and the low was 77 degrees Fahrenheit with a humidity of 63%. That is not anywhere near horrific, very hot, or extremely humid. Temperatures. She was adorned in a, a long sleeved coat, uh, a, a pantsuit. And so, what we will see here now is her getting into the car. She was a little bit unstable there. She was a, a little bit wobbly. That's, I think, an appropriate word to use. You can see right there. Again, she had become overheated. MSNBC said Hillary Clinton was a little bit unstable and a little bit wobbly. Here's the full unedited video so you can decide for yourself. If you pay attention to Hillary's feet, you'll see that she completely loses all control of her muscles. I couldn't even wear what I'm wearing now to be appropriately dressed to anchor a broadcast. I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt when I came in early this morning. It was that horrible, that weather. She has an unbelievably challenging taxing schedule that would be so physically for anybody, right? Let alone somebody. Trump has been doing um, many more campaign you know, events than Hillary Clinton. And frankly, standing for a long period of time, there is, you know, something that a fainting reflex that's called vasovagal syn syncope, which mm -hmm. is not uncommon. Sure. With that excessive heat, if she didn't eat enough that morning or well, drink no. enough that morning, it could happen to anybody. Yeah. I mean, I know there are plenty of days that I will drink coffee yes. and a fair amount of it, I might have, right. in the early mornings to get going. And then if you don't eat properly, that can set you off Absolutely. just right there. Kids have been spinning up theories that she's not, in fact, in good health. It is a rare occurrence that you and I discuss fashion when we're talking about politics. But I'm looking at what you are wearing. You've got short sleeves on. I can tell it's a light material. That is in direct yeah. contrast to what it appears Secretary Clinton was wearing. That blouse might even be a long sleeve blouse. I mean, put into perspective this weather out there. And if that's what she's wearing... I mean, that's just horribly uncomfortable. That's a good point. And, if, you know, it, it was the start of the day, the sun beating down. So, and talk to other folks who were there at the 9-11 memorial. They also say that it was pretty hot there as well. She's in a dark suit, you know, long-sleeved. Right. It's not the kind of thing that you want to be wearing any inappropriate attire. So absolutely appropriate for the event. Perhaps not so much, though, to combat the weather and the heat. The secretary is wearing a not only long-sleeved suit jacket, but it is dark color. Color. Of course, there are many of us who deal with the humidity of New York and, and up and down the East Coast and throughout the South. And you know that lighter colors, wearing lighter colors helps, uh, breathable yep. cotton, that sort of thing. And she was wearing a long jacket. We don't know the kind of material it was. And I'm certain not wanting to disrupt really the solemnity of the uh, 